Okay, Elaine says, considering your sales funnel, where is the first place a webinar could or ideally shows up? Where in the big picture is a webinar useful beyond serving as a lead magnet? At this point, I'm not thinking of a lead magnet webinar unless that is number one. I'm wondering if it's appropriate to do one that's designed to make an emotional connection with hurting parents and may touch on services. Is that just a waste of words? Might you speak to where to put webinar energies? So people do this different ways. I recommend doing webinars with people who already kind of know you because here's what you're asking someone to do on a webinar. You're asking them to take an hour of their time and to meet you somewhere at a certain time. And to do that, they've got to know you really well, right? They, they, they want to spend that time with you because they know you provide value. So I would invite people to a webinar after they've signed up to your first lead magnet, whether that's a checklist, a PDF, a guide, a cheat sheet, um, that's where I would put it. So you could have, you know, um, like at one point I was having monthly webinars, so they would sign up for the lead magnet and then that would go into a webinar. I will say though that if you're just starting, I would play sales conversations ahead of webinars because to have a sales conversation with one person, how many people do you need on that? You need one person. And to have start having webinars, <clears throat> you're gonna you got webinars really are gonna be a lower dollar amount as well. And you have to have a lot more people. So to have the conversion, I mean the timing of a webinar, not only do you have to get people to sign up from the webinar, but then that's just the first part, getting webinar signups. To actually get them to attend the webinar, that's even <clears throat> even less people are gonna attend the webinar, right? It based on personal experience. So you really just have, you have to have a lot of people to sign up to get a lot of people to actually attend. It's, it's a total percentages numbers game. So, um, but that's where I would put it. If you want to do the webinar, I would do it after they opt into something. On a thank you page, you could invite them to sign up to a webinar. So that way they get to know you somehow through that lead magnet, then they get invited to a webinar on the same topic, but it goes a little deeper where you can like talk through it. Um, the other thing that works really well is doing a webinar and not selling anything at the end, but just leading to a sales conversation, leading them to an application to sign up to speak to you individually. So this works well if like you're going high level on a webinar, but then you can take it personally on the phone afterwards. So I would like open up my calendar the two days after I held the webinar so that I would do the webinar and then I would open my calendar and, and people could book time on the webinar to discuss, you know, to discuss personally what they learned during the webinar and how to apply it for them. 